Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable BitLocker on um, this particular time. It's a server 2019. However, this could apply to Windows 10, Windows 11, or virtually any server operating system. Let's get started. So the first question you're going to ask is, why am I showing you how to um, enable BitLocker on a um, virtual machine instead of doing it through MBAM or Configuration Manager or even a GPU? And this is a bit of a loaded question. The reality is you should be doing it with any of those options other than doing it manually. The reason why you do it manually is Traditionally, servers are still, even today, built by hand um, a lot of the time. And you still enable um, BitLocker by hand. Now, the thing that you do have to remember is that if you do do it by, by hand, like I'm going to show you, <clears throat> it doesn't use the, um, the, the, the best security from that. And that's one thing you do have to remember. And this is where it makes sense for you to apply um, the MBAM policy either through MBAM or through Configuration Manager or the GPO settings such that you get the um, higher level of security on, on your box. With that, let's get started. All right, to get started, we're gonna go into the control panel. And in the um, control panel, we're gonna to go to system and security, and we can see BitLocker encryption here. We're gonna open, and notice that it's turned off by default. We're gonna turn it on. So it's gonna check the uh, system requirements, and I'm going to uh, save this the BitLocker recovery key. Uh, I'm going to save it off to, uh, let's go off my hair, that's your one slash C dollar sign. And we're just going to put it in here. And uh, I'll just save it there. So um, now you have the option of doing use space or the entire uh, disk space. You're going to get into debates on which makes more sense, but um, the short version is if you use the disk space only, you're not as fully protected as if you do the full drive. So I'm going to do the full drive. <coughs> um, I'm going to tell it to use the um, best and the, the newest encryption methods, and I'm not worried about <laughs> uh, uh, a Windows 11, a uh, Windows 10, uh, 15, 11. Um, and I'm going to tell it to run the system check. Why shouldn't I? It makes the most sense. It's the safest way to do this. So this is going to um, run here for a minute. So we've got the notification. I'm going to bring it up. It's going to say, do I want to restart now? I'm going to say yes. Restart. Okay, restart later. Then I'm going to restart this VM. Oh, and now it's disconnected us. All right, we'll go over. We'll go over to the host and find the box and connect to it. See, it's already booted. It was up for 13 seconds already. I'm going to see if I can connect to it directly, just so that we can get the, the full experience. There we go. So as we see, um, we've rebooted, it's already done its check, it's already um, uh, 
started the encryption method. This, uh, because this VM has very little on the C drive, it's not going to take a long time. Um, I'll estimate like under five minutes to uh, complete. Uh, 6.42. So I'm going to let it run. I'm going to speed it up so you don't have to sit here for the whole time. All right, and I'm back. So 6.42, it was about two minutes actually to run the whole thing. If you were paying attention to that, you can really see when it started getting into the free uh, space, it just really um, uh, starts going through the, the percentages really quickly. So I go close and technically that's it. There's nothing more um, I need to do. Right now, my drive is encrypted. I can go back to uh, control panel and look at that BitLocker encryption is right there. And we can see the drive is um, uh, encrypted throughout the whole scenario. I can hear some of you saying, Garth, why didn't you use PowerShell and then you can um, set the the encryption standard that I wanted to use or not. I absolutely could do that. Um, it, to be honest, a lot of times what I find is, is that most people are, air quote, lazy. They want to get it done and get it done quickly. So this is just a quick way to get it done. Honestly, having the 128-bit encryption is better than nothing. And you might as well have it. If you ever have to change the encryption method, you are going to have to um, unencrypt the drive and then re-encrypt it. That can take a little bit of time. The more data that you have, the longer it, it takes. But maybe that's a, a, a video for a future time. Anyways, if you have any questions, please let me know. I want to thank you for watching this video and I want to remind you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and off to the Ask Garth newsletter. This way you can um, stay on top of the latest content as it becomes available. Until next time.